Fabiano, uh, yesterday I was not very sharp and you escaped me, <laughs> but that was a game to discuss. I mean, who am I? But according to me, it was one of the best game I've seen in a long time. What is your opinion on that? Yeah, I think it was close to being one of my best games I've ever played. Um, but yeah, not quite. I mean, you also have to, to finish the game off. Um, but yeah, I, I was actually a bit surprised because when he played bishop f6, I thought this move was losing because of what happened in the game. And I was kind of shocked he didn't play knight takes c3, which looked like um, much more messy. I mean, I and at least there it gave me like many options, while here he was kind of forcing. Um, so I thought he would play knight c3. He played bishop f6, which I, I thought is kind of crazy because it goes by force into the position we had. Where after but still, you spent like 15 or 20 minutes in that position. Why was that? Um, well, I still had to, had to make sure. Um, I mean, it's still very complicated, and I didn't want to to rush with my my moves. And um, and also, I was like not entirely sure to take on h7 or to play rook d5 first. It wasn't a completely obvious choice, but I rejected it because if he plays g6, my attack sort of finishes. And when we got to the position after king h8, I I kind of knew that bishop d4 was an option because I'd spent quite a bit of time looking at the position bef before we got there. And um, and I was hoping there would be more. Like I, I would, I was looking at queen h3, queen h7. It's the the forcing checks where I take on g6. He takes on b2, and I play king b1. And here he has to make a quiet defensive move, rook e7, because I have a threat mate. I've made a queen of seven, a threat of queen of seven mate. And um, and then I thought there should be something winning there, but I couldn't see it. So I eventually settled on bishop d4, which was not really what I wanted because the game kind of continues and continues and continues. And uh, maybe I should have just gone for it, but I, I really wasn't sure. Um, but I was very happy I, with this queen f7, all this stuff, it looked winning. And after queen a2, I felt like it was winning. I had about three minutes left. Um, my first instinct was rook g3. Uh, it threatens rook a3, trapping the queen. It also threatens like rook h3, queen g6. If he takes the pawn, it's winning. And then I, I spent like more or less two and a half of my three minutes because after queen a1, king d2, king h7, I couldn't like finish him off. I was very surprised. Rook h3, knight drive. He has like this construction. It, it's probably still winning, but it was like uh, somehow I was, um, yeah. I, I but not like forcing. Um, well, it's all very forcing for him. Yeah. So it fe feels like um, I should be able to uh, to calculate this to a win, but maybe I started in the wrong place with rook g3. Uh, and I, if I had started with like rook takes g6, then I had. Then I would have probably just just played this and gone to a, a pretty trivial winning ending uh, where he takes a pawn b2. I play rook g3 and he has to trade queens on e4, and it wasn't clear to me that this was winning uh, over the board. But I didn't have enough time to really to verify it. Um, but after rook a3, it's actually very very trivial. Uh, and in the game, I just made a one stupid move. I think the main reason I can blame myself for not winning this is that I played rook e1. If I had played a4. Um, which was like, basically, I I was going to play a4, and then I thought I'll play rook e1 and paralyze him for a move, and and this was just a terrible blunder. Um, after that, it becomes very difficult to win. Uh, but a4, I think I would have cleaned up the game pretty easily if I'd played that. So yeah, it was like just one regret during that game. Yeah, and the ending is also probably difficult because you realize you sort of spoiled it already a little bit yeah okay of course rookie one it mm -hmm. was a disappointment also in terms of um still fighting for a win after it becomes quite difficult i mean i was told that if i had played like king c3 at king b2 at some point it was winning but I, I i don't think i can even think in this direction to to put my king on b2 and i'm not even sure if it was 100 percent winning i mean some strong engines are are saying white might win but um but I can't really blame myself for things which don't even come to my mind. Uh, so, so the main regret I have is that I didn't play A4. Okay, thank you. Great game, not a good result for you. Thanks. Thank you.